Hello everybody, so in today's video I'm gonna show you how to download and install the Entity Curling mod for Minecraft Java in 2025. So let's get started. The first thing you wanna do is go to your web browser and I will have links in the description if you need them or just go to your search bar and search up for modwinf like so. Once you enter, you should see modwinf.com, just click on modwinf and it should be on the modwinf homepage. Now, all you want to do is go to the top of the website to discover content, and you want to go down to mods. Then, you want to go down a tiny bit, and you should see Entity Curling here. If it doesn't show up for some reason, just go ahead and search for it, but as it is quite popular, it should be quite high. So, just go ahead and click the name, and it should be new to the Entity Curling mod here on Modwinf. So, all you want to do is find the versions tab, click it, and then you want to go to game versions, and click whatever version you want to play. I'm going to play the latest Minecraft version. Here, we have an option for Fabric here, so right here, and we'll be using Fabric, so just download this one, so just click the green yellow button. And we do have Fabric API to get, so just click the version name, scroll down a tiny bit, and you should see dependencies here. So just click Fabric API here, required, go to versions, go to game versions, and select whatever game version you selected before. So that was that for them. And in this case, we're just gonna click the green yellow button. And you should have Fabric API and Entity Curling for the same Minecraft version. And to run Fabric API and Entity Curling for Fabric, well, you need Fabric Minecraft. And to get Fabric Minecraft, just go to a new tab, go ahead and search up Fabric Minecraft, like so. And you should see FabricMC.net as a website. Just click Fabric here. And this should be new to the Fabric homepage. Now, all you want to do is click the blue download button, and then you want to click the download for Windows button. And here you should have Fabric installer as well. So, once you have all this, you can close your web browser and you can go ahead and open up your downloads folder. Once you're here, all you want to do is double click the Fabric installer. It should show up with this window here, so just select whatever version you selected before. For me, it was the latest Minecraft version. And once you closed the launcher here, all you want to do is go ahead and go to the Minecraft launcher this time. So that is how we're going to be able to check for Fabric if it is installed correctly. And then indeed it is. And then we can go to our mods folder. Now the mods folder is added by default by Fabric. So all we need to do here is just go to the top of the launcher to installations. And then you want to hover over Fabric here and go to the folder icon. Then all you want to do is find the mods folder. Now if it's not here, just make one, but it should be here. So just find a mods folder somewhere, and once you're in .minecraft mods, just go to your downloads folder, select and copy Fabric API and Entity Curling, go back to your previous folder using the top left arrow, and click paste. What we did here, we just went in the .minecraft mods folder and copy pasted these two mods. So now all you want to do is go to your Minecraft launcher, play, you want to make sure that Fabric Loader is selected, and then just click play. And this will just load up Minecraft automatically. Okay, so once we have Minecraft here, we can go to a realm server or single player world. I'll just go to a single player world, tutorial world, and here we go, we'll just have entity curling. So you won't see much happen as this is really just a behind the scene mod, but basically what it does, it just does not bend the mobs that are not in view of the player. So that's kind of the use of it. And yeah, that's basically it when it comes to actually the mod. I opened up this menu here because we can see here curling here. It is how many like rendered entities do. Skipped 14 for example. So there is some things going on here. And it is probably more useful for more intensive areas than just a normal gameplay. But outside of that, this is what entity curling is. It's just a bit more performance for heavier loads if there's more mobs around here. So yeah, that is how we get Entity Curling for Minecraft Java. So if you liked this video, make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one. Bye!